This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit bcabearings.com for more information. There is a special relationship between the hub unit and the CV joint on a vehicle. If it's a front wheel drive vehicle or an all wheel drive vehicle, typically you're going to have a CV joint right behind that hub unit. These two components share a lot of things in common. Mostly, they're both filled with bearings and they're precisely machined with some very, very fine surface finishes. Both of these components can suffer the same fate if either the boot or the seal inside the wheel hub unit has failed. When dirt, debris, and contamination get inside, they're going to harm those precisely machined surfaces and potentially cause it to have play and make noise for the customer. And they will notice. If you're replacing the hub unit, make sure you're inspecting the CV joint. Most of all, inspect the boot. If you're just replacing the hub unit, you might want to take that extra time and replace the CV joint boot. Chances are this has gone 80 or 100,000 miles and it could be damaged. It could be brittle and hard thanks to ozone and other things that it's exposed to on the road, especially the heat from the brakes. Another thing to pay attention to, especially on Gen 1 wheel bearings, is the shoulder of the CV joint itself. If it's damaged, has cracks, or has corrosion on it, it's not going to hold the preload on the hub unit. So if you're replacing the hub unit, make sure you're inspecting the boot on the CV joint. If it has 80, 100,000 miles, or even more, recommend replacement of the CV joint boot. This way, you're saving the customer money and a potential very costly repair down the road. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.